Welcome back everybody to the Primitive Rebel Gaming Channel guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at some different things. We're going to be looking at some secrets, some glitches, some little hidden spots, and some downright just weird stuff going on in the game. And we're going to do it on Nessus today baby. Alright, so first you saw the old sparrow launching. We're going to do that. Next up I'm going to show you how to get to this really weird place where there's a lot of red shiny looking, almost looks like red glass up here in the glade of echoes so we're doing cistern and glade of echoes stuff guys and i'll show you how you get over here to this little spot where you can check out the view and show you this just really massive area back here you can walk around in i'm going to show you this little spot here that's just a really weird spot it's just kind of like why is this here and i'll show you how to get in this little secret room also some of these you may or may not know but either way we're going to reminisce. We're going to talk about it. Let's do it. Number one in the cistern, guys, if you don't know where this is, I'm sorry. But you can jump in your sparrow and get launched way up here. Now, I did it a couple of times yesterday. I hadn't done it in so long. I was a little rusty. So my first two good ones I had, I barely missed the top by a little bit, as you can see. So, oh, well, no big deal, man. Nice view up here, though. All right, staying in the cistern, as you can see, I slowed it down there, guys. You see right there to the right, that's where you start off the inverted spire strike. But if you come right here and jump, you'll notice there's a little gap in between here. If you jump up, bam, you can walk right into the little secret room. And all your buddies will be like, dude, where are you? And you'll be like, you gotta find me. If you can't, you suck. So anyway, pretty cool little spot. Kind of hard to get out, you might have to kill yourself. I think that's what I ended up doing. All right, now we're gonna move over here towards the cistern, like the cistern glade of echoes checkpoint, guys, right here. All right, I slowed this one down too. You can see the fallen ship over there. So this is like right where the checkpoint is as you're coming in between the two areas. It doesn't matter which one you're in, cistern or glade of echoes. I believe it it works either way. But uh, for this video, I stayed in the cistern, and uh, cause I got off my sparrow. If you go up to that hill, you go a little too far and get the other checkpoint. So you can jump off right here. And uh, uh, this is another place I hadn't been in a while. So I randomly just started jumping. Forgot where you used to get to, but I ended up landing on this corner. I made a couple other little jumps and that's how you get up into that little area where there's that big gap in there. Just kind of a strange little area, man. Pretty cool though. All right, and then um, after this, guys, I'm going to show you where we uh, start off at the Glade Echoes to go check out that big, massive area. And uh, I'm going to shut up after this. That way, y'all can just, if you want to watch the rest of the video and see how to explore that area, fine. If not, you know, hey, we can just, uh, we'll just go watch something else. So, guys, uh, hope everything's going good. Hope you're having a good uh, weekend, good Solstice to Heroes. It is the last day. So I'm trying to knock out them uh, packages, man, because I'm trying to hoard everything I can get, you know. So anyway, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace.